So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Bruno? I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion. Are you coming or what? Do you want me to come over there? Yep. There's a waypoint. Had to go meet with her. If you'll both proceed to the armory to don your nightingale armor, you can begin the oath. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Okay. I was on my way over there. I was waiting for her to catch up. Apparently I got a whole bunch of stuff. I didn't equip them automatically, but I guess I'm going to have to. What does this stuff do? So let's see. Increases your stamina by 40 po points and also increases your frost resistance. Well, that's cool. And we also have uh, muffled sand boots. That's very nifty. I wonder if I can disenchant those. I'd like to put that on my regular boots. And we have, let's see. Ugh. Mm. Yes. 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 I will definitely take 25% more fucking damage. Can I disenchant those, I hope? <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay, and uh, let's see. Illusion costs plus the cast. Okay. I got my armor. You're ready for the oath. I guess so. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Indeed. You appear ready for the oath. Darn it! I can't get the this Nightingale set disenchanted either? You appear Fucking bullshit magic. Yes, I'm ready for the oath. I guess I just need to get it. Now we're gonna go to the oath place. Time's wasted, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. I'm trying to. You guys are slow as fuck. Okay, lass. We've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming... Hold any hope of defeating Mercer. We must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Sure! Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the Western Circle. Time's wasted, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. You're lucky I have a built-in compass, because otherwise I wouldn't know what a western circle was. Why can't I use this now? Bad. Does she have to use it? Speak when the oath is complete. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. I know. You said that before. you lady nocturnal queen of murk and empress of shadow hear my voice ah carlia i was wondering when i'd hear from you again lose something did we my lady i've come before you to throw 
throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Carlyle. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. And what has he done? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. You know, I suspect it as much. He's compromised our ties to Nocturnal, and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. I see. So it's a key that unlocks any door? It just doesn't, you know, it just doesn't break? Like it, uh, like they did in Oblivion? It just was unbreakable in Oblivion. Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. What? It didn't do that in the prior games. Sounds like no one should have this thing, except for me. Good. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, Things will never be the same for the guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. I know about having a lot of luck. Anyway, this is the first time I've ever set out to return. Well, no, actually, that's not exactly true. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Yeah, I kind of have sold my soul to multiple deities. <laughs> it's all good. Well, let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. How you know? Just you listen to him. What business? Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Hello. <laughs> and why why you tell this to me? Carlyle and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Well, what about you? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead, never desired it, never cared for it, don't want it. Okay. Well, it's about time you fucking ask. <laughs> Spoken like the leader of the Thieves' Guild. Just don't lose yourself in the role. We have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation. I will lead everything in this goddamn place. Anyway, I guess I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Okay, well, let's get to it. I've been pouring over the plans you brought us. 
and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthan. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. A fight to remember! Okay. So, I guess we're Nightingales now. Aye. And some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Huh. Let's see. Nah, I know we stand a chance against Mercer. I'll just we punch him to death like I do all the time. As is my birthright. Du -du 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 I feel like I did Batman this. I can just run for days. One thing I want to do before we do anything, though, is I want to see if I really can't disenchant anything cool. I must verify this. Just so I can make myself sad. So, let's see. Where are we heading next? I don't think I even have a marker for this. Oh, wait, there it is. Have I been there before? No, okay. Let's go ahead and head to Winterhold. Head to my college. Might have something else cool I can disenchant too. Let's see, is that mine? Yep, mine's to the left. Alright, let's switch to our other items. Orcish. Uh huh. I was gonna say, these do. I'm wondering what's actually better, to tell you the truth. I do have a perk that increases my skill with a heavy gauntlet, so it's probably better for me to use those. Alright, do I have everything on? I need my hat. Alright. Disenchant. Yeah, it looks like that's right. Well, shit. So dumb. I don't even see it on here. It doesn't even show up in the list because it'd just be too awesome. Hmm. That could be kind of handy. I don't think I had that one either. What can I put that on? What if I healing rate? That goes on necklaces. Of course it can't go on anything cool that, you know, I'm not actually wearing already. Well, I got it anyway, I guess. So dumb. There's at least one item that like Stoys knows of that'll actually allow you to get the muffle enchantment. I really just want the I mean, the gloves of this thing are fucking amazing. I mean, the boots are cool too, but that, the 25% more damage with, oh, that's one-handed attacks. Never mind, I thought that was unarmed attacks for whatever reason, because I'm a fucking dumbass. Oh well. Still a goddamn shame. Also, I would have liked to get the... Enchantment off of, not the Nightingale Blade, off of uh, Chillrend, but of course you can't have nice things. My bones are still here. There you go, bones. Let's see, and on the bed. Slap for you. 
And you, and you. I can't drop you? Aw, oh, damn it. Fucking weighted quest items. Let's see, what was that? Eh, it could be good. You can hover in midair too. You can hover in midair. Staff of Magnus, you can hover in midair. Chain Lightning, you can also hover in midair. Okay. I'm gonna say, where the fuck's the Staff of Magnus? There you are, Staff of Magnus. Alright, I hope no one messes with that shit while I'm gone. Just in case it does think about disappearing. Let's see. Do I have the gloves of the pugilist? Not anymore, because I disenchant those. Which is why I have my kick-ass, uh, hands of flail fist. Which are orcus gloves. How much money do I have? I have 20 fucking grand. Let's look at my skill set real quick. Smithing is about to go up. How much do I need for ebony? 17 more levels. Jesus Christ. Enchanting is pretty goddamn close. Hi, ah, man. I need so many enchantments to get the extra effect. Well, I need three, I guess. I need that one, that one, that one. Alteration's doing fine. I wish there was a way to reassign my perks because god damn it I do it now. Like why the fuck do I have conjuration? What am I conjuring? I that must be for soul trap. See that one's worthwhile right there. Hmm. Of course I want more of this. I mean, what's next? We could get Muso Tensei at any point. I want to kind of save that though because that is a uh that's an instant kill strike. I suppose this will be next. So the true power of a Hakuto Shinkin relies on channeling energy into a single blow and striking at one of the pressure points, known as the 708 K Raku Hiko. Your fists deal significantly more damage and have a greater chance to crit. I mean, that sounds pretty damn good. It sounds like something I get shit done. And this one also sounds like a good combination for that. And that also, I mean, all of these sound just fan goddamn tastic. I want them now. Why'd I go into the Arcadum? Because I'm stupid. Actually, that's fine. Let's actually go over to White Run real quick. White Run. That's Windhelm. I was wondering how that thing was so close and I didn't notice. Actually, go to Dragon's Reach. I want to do a little smithing real quick. I was going to say, Grey Mane, I'm not sure if he's going to be here yet. Ah, oh, it's too early in the morning. He's an old man. He can't get up that early. Alright. We'll give him a few hours to show up. Get my gray man. Gray man. There you are, you son of a bitch. I ain't much for talking. You ain't much for talking? Let's see. Before you go run off... Hey, hey. Are you still staring at me? I'm not staring at you. I need something for. S no, wait. You actually won't sell right now. It's an honorable craft. I'll show you what. I, I don't really want to buy it at that one though, because it's about the top off. Do I have anything I can forge? I do apparently. 
No. Well, shoot. Wait, maybe I can make some jewelry. Jewelry? Damn it. I thought it was at night. I guess it was in the morning. It's funny how he's out here at this time of night, though. We done? Yes. Let me go get Uthgird real quick. All I can think about is my son. My looking for my husband, Nazim? No, I'm not looking for your stupid husband. I don't care. I was gonna say, was she in the Bannered Mare? I think she was. I hope that's where she went back to. I want my shit back. You want anything? I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Uthers? The security in the is terrible. Shameful is what it is. Hmm. Uther May. Oh, did you need something? I ain't done nothing. I say she may look completely different. I might just be confused. The gods in this city are all lazy and undisciplined. Things need to change. Maybe she's in my house. That'd be kind of weird, but uh, I wouldn't put past it. Or she might be in the archery shop, which wouldn't make too much sense. But hey, we'll check. Who's good? Is that you? Nope, you're my you're my thane. Uthi, have you seen Uthgird? Damn it. I need my Uthgird. Have you met my You're not Uthgird. He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Drunken Huntsman? Is that where he was? Or is that where Uthgird hangs out? No. Well shit, Uthgird, I don't even know where she went. I have lost Uthgird. Who good? Well, there's that Nazim guy. Maybe it's just too late for her to be there. The quest to find Uthgird. I thought she was in the Banner and Mare, but I don't see her in there. Maybe she's sleeping. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Like how everyone's up on my account. Huh? Huh? Come by Bellator's shop at the market. I'm nope. Sure we've got some. Ooh, good. What? Yeah, could have sworn she sat back here. Oh, maybe I'll just wait. I shall wait until a new day arises. Until a new sun rises. She does have a house? What? Uthgard has a house? There you are, Uthi. You're someone who can get things done. Come on, let's, let's go fight. Do you have your stuff? We've stopped. What is it? Don't tell me you lost everything that I fucking gave you. I'm gonna be upset. What do you need to take? Okay, you did not upset me. That is good. You're just not wearing your hat for whatever reason. Also, I'm not sure why that's still favorited in your inventory, but okay. Yeah, there's the Mayroon's razor, but she doesn't use it for some reason. Close your mouth. Close it. Lead Thank on, you. Then. Okay, we found Uther's. We'll see if I can get my smithing up to a respectable level in just a moment. I was going to say, we can go over here and use her forge. And then we'll go bug Greymane. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. Okay. Go inside. I'm still here. I was gonna say it's been a while since we've actually seen What's your face. Take? You've been wearing that stupid uh that stupid hat. That for some reason you don't want to wear. Let's see, I was looking for my stuff. So you got 
some malachite in there, some silver. Not a whole lot of awesome stuff. In fact, you don't have any iron at all, which is very weird. Let's go. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Take a look. Judge your mouth. So you got a bunch of iron. Sure, we'll make some iron shit. Don't forget to check inside the. Have you met my? Actually, father? do you have any dwarven shit? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Dwarven, dwarven, dwarven. I think that's the dwarven ingot. Eight of those is pretty pricey. Well, we'll take it. All right then. Okay, dwarven. What do I need? But dwarven, actually, it was dwarven bows. I think were the best. Well, shit. I guess those aren't those. God damn it. Okay. Well, what about iron? Can we make iron bows? Iron daggers. What do we need for iron daggers? Probably just a bit of leather. Let me just buy the leather. I help my father in more hmm. blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Give it. All right then. Okay, iron. What's your problem now? Did I actually buy leather? <laughs> God damn it. Okay, make the strips. Too many strips. <laughs> it's like I had a bongo drum there for a second. That was pretty neat. I can make leather stuff. I can make steel. The Karundrum is for steel, huh? Can it actually make steel? Get the smelter? Oh. So I can make a single ingot of it, I guess. Well, that's cool. I can make imperial stuff. Of course, that will require steel. Orcish. That, of course, takes the. What is that? Or Chalcum. Okay, we'll just stick with iron. We'll go with iron daggers. And I have 43 leather strips left. Well, there you go. Where'd you go? Hello. I don't claim to be the best, the finest weapons and armor. Let me sell back my shit to you. Definitely selling these at a loss, but it's all right. Where are all of them? That's your stuff. I want my stuff. There you go. Not a big problem. I also have a staff of zombies. Go ahead and take that. And this dwarven bow that I have enchanted with fear or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Anything else I can sell your stupid ass in here? Oh yeah, you know what? I should probably wear that Zenithar thing. Zenithar. Zenithar. That would have been a smart idea before I did all that commerce, but oh well. Must climb stairs. I do want to get a full suit of ebony armor sometime this century, and yes, you know, How can I help? I'd also like a, a suit of Daedric armor sometime this century too. Still wondering what that hole is there. That very obvious hole. Hello. Got a lot of steel to shape. Teach me your ways, master. It's an Teach it. Craft. I'll show you what I can. Teach. Teach, 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 teach. And there goes all my money. But we got a new skill. A new skill level point. I will take stamina? Yeah, stamina sounds good. More punching. 
We'll go over to two hands. Getting dizzy. We. All right. Pressure point strikes. Wham! We're pretty close to our next level on this too. Can you teach me more? Gods be praised. Let's see. Do I have anything to sell you? Is the real question. I do have that. It's not worth anything. You can have it. I'm thinking about putting that in my house. Probably shouldn't sell those. Do I have anything that's enchanted? Oh, yeah. Was I not able to actually remove it? No, wait. I did actually make that specifically. Okay. That's fine. I had to think about that for a second there. You can go ahead and take that. What else do we have here that I can sell you? Minor blocking? Sure. I believe that is all. Do I have any books? You'll actually buy the encoded journal? Oh, the things you guys will sell. I remember that guy. You can have that. And that. And that. And that for free. Why not? Just so it's a full set. <laughs> oh yeah, we have all these. And of course he has just so much gold now because we bought so much crap. And of course I'm getting so... Bu I'm selling so much that I'm actually getting uh, speed skill. Let me sell... I was going to say I have plenty of potions I can get rid of. That one... This one, that one for sure. Enchanter's Potion will keep. Uh, Magicka Potion can go. That can go. Paralysis can go. Everything must go. Oh yeah, I forgot I had all these. That is money in the bank. More money. Oh my gosh, that money. <laughs> Look at all the money we just got back. Look at it. It is glorious. Virulent Poison, Weak Stamina Potion, you can take that one, that one, all this crap that I've been picking up is actually coming in quite handy. I'm thinking about selling my Invisibility Potions too, but I'm fighting the urge. Let's see, Water Breathing, I don't really need. You can get rid of that. Fortify carry weight, yes. Do I need that? No, I can make that. That's one of my shitty ones. Fortify strength, of course. And now we got so much money. Okay, well, it's time to buy more training from our I friend Erlen right here. Train me, master. It's an honorable craft. I'll show you what I can. So much money just went down the fucking toilet. <laughs> and someday we'll be able to make some ebony armor. It's gonna say, how far are we now? We're up to 74. We need six more levels and a perk. Which I'll be using on my next one, I guess. That's enchanting, lethal. You need to go here. So we get that. We get... Ebony armor, and we'll be able to improve them twice as much. And then we'll get Daedric Smithing at 90. And then we will be cooking. There's also Dragon Armor, but what from, from what I've read online, it's actually worse than Daedric, which is sort of weird. And then we will be really cooking with gas. We will be unstoppable. But you know what, folks? I think that'll be for next time. I am tired. It is currently 12.20 in the morning on Saturday. And I got things to do tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.